And we are back, and we just finished watching 2022's The Bad Guys, rated PG, with a runtime of one minute, one hour and 40 oh, minutes. <laughs> this is, I think, still currently in theaters, available on Peacock, and also for rent on Amazon. This was directed by Pierre Perifel. Sorry if we butchered your name. I think it's Perifel. P-E-R-I-F-E-L, right? Perifel? Pierre Perry Fell. Good as guess is mine. Based on books by Aaron Blaby. <laughs> I'm having trouble today. With should... screenplay credits to e Etienne Cohen and Yanni Brenner. Wow. Okay. And Hillary Sorry. Winston. We need a phonetic dictionary for yeah, this. Yeah, uh, I I, I apologize to everyone. This is the story of a a group of friends who spend most of their time involved in criminal enterprises like they're, heists and they're the they're the, they bad, the guys bad guys from lots of stories you know you got wolf tarantula snake, snake piranha, piranha and shark. shark you never really see many stories where those animals are involved that have a happy ending <laughs> for them <laughs> or any i mean most stories of sharks it's shark eats somebody yeah, true. Well, Piranhas skeletonize to, human beings. When it comes to the wolf, Little Red Riding Hood gets away safely, doesn't she? True, but he's honestly. But the wolf is always the bad guy in the he's, story. He's really the Three only pigs, and yeah, he's really the only fairy tale character. There's no fairy tales about piranhas or tarantulas or tarantulas yeah. or sharks. What about snakes. piranha double D three D or whatever that stupid <laughs> movie? Piranha three double D. There you go. With, yeah, that was that was a masterpiece. That was. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Mm -hmm. In this, one of our favorites, Sam Rockwell, <laughs> voices Wolf and is telling the story. Yes, telling the story of his crew. And it, it's a, this is a really fun story. It was great. Most of the times in children's stories, it's about a lesson learned. And in this one, I guess the idea of you control your fate and you control your destiny you don't have to adhere to, I guess, the norm. Uh -huh. You can be whoever you want. I think that's the, the main gist of the, the lesson here. It's kind of cool because and, it's- And it feels good to be good. And it feels good to be good, exactly. And I think that's a great lesson, not just for kids, but I think, I, and this is the kind of movie that I think it's geared towards kids, but it's definitely, I mean, I was hella entertained, as were you. It's absolutely geared towards kids, but it's one of those kids' movies where adults could really enjoy it. Just just the banter between Wolf and pretty much every character. Yes, yes. Every, every voice actor did a great job. It was nice to hear Mark Marin in this. I'm yeah, so used to him really... on, the Mark, on the podcast, but to yeah. see him actually do stuff. Yeah, you don't really think of Mark Marin as, as a guy doing his voiceover work in, in children's cartoons, but he yeah. was... He was fantastic. Excellent. I loved him. Absolutely as snake. excellent. Aquafina as tarantula. Aquafina's as always the, good. She's got that voice that's you know, very distinct, very and distinct. she's yeah. like the I guess tech mastermind of the group. Yes, the tarant. Uh, Craig Robinson as shark. He's the muscle, I guess, or the the master of disguise. Master of disguise, <laughs> sort of like Dana Carvey. <laughs> <He's> like, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what? What is going on? Do you not know that that's a shark? And so Anthony, now, and Anthony now Ramos as Piranha, nice. which is kind of an interesting yeah. animal to throw in the mix, but I'll allow it. He did a great job. Well, I mean, as far as animal, it makes sense. Tragedies with human beings. I mean, there, I don't think there is an ever an actual case of a human being eaten by a school of piranhas, but... You've seen, I mean, come Countless. on, Piranha, the movie. Yeah, is, exactly. Is, this is something that we've lived I mean, with. There's, I mean, the original was like from the 70s, yeah, right? Which yeah, was, yeah. oh my God, hella ridiculous. And there was always stories and legends about, oh, I stuck, the, Johnny stuck his arm in the Amazon River and when he pulled it out, there <laughs> it was, was nothing but bone, bone. you know? <laughs> it was like half a second and the piranhas devoured his flesh. Exactly, exactly. I'm going to go around the table and get impressions. Olive G, what'd you think? I thought it was good. Yeah, what'd you like about it? Probably how good the artwork was. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that That's another thing we and, kept remarking about, yeah. And yeah. also, like, I guess the friendship between them. Yes. Very good. Nice yeah. pickup there. Did you have a favorite character in this? Um, probably the go governor. Oh, Diane. she was yeah. Diane. Diane. Diane was cool. What was Diane she, the, was cool. The, the, the Diane Foxington, a.k.a. the Crimson Paw. 
Yeah, yeah, she was really great. She was really great. She had some sweet, sweet moves on her. Seriously. Oh yeah, that that animation sequence was, was really well done. Really, really yeah. well done. I mean, the angles, the way they pulled it off, the poses, perfect, yeah, perfect, perfect. Did you have a favorite scene, Olive G? Every Honestly, time I was gonna say every time Piranha farted. No, <laughs> that was that was there was a fart no. joke, but it wasn't like in other kids' movies where it's like the whole yeah thing. It actually yeah. served no, like, a purpose in the yeah. story. Yes, yes. Yeah. No. I actually like like every time that they were doing a plan, like how the sequence would go. Ah, uh -huh. yes, oh, yes, the, that the is class, cool. the classic heist sequence. Sequence, yes, yeah. yes. What about you? What do you think? I thought this was great. This was a really good kids movie. I I love when animation doesn't isn't just like dumb and oh let's just make something so kids can stare at a TV for an hour and a half. This yeah. was really good. It had a nice sweet story. It had great character work. All the voice acting was brilliant. Brilliant. I love the character designs and yes. I love the animation Mation styles. Yeah, yeah. It was it, this was a beautiful piece Look of animation. Movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Did you have a favorite character? Wolf. Wolf. Well, Sam, Sam Rockwell's Sam so Rockwell great. Sam Rockwell is outstanding. He his, really is. He he's, really, he's, really he's is. He's the perfect voice. voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a favorite scene? Uh, I loved the, the fight sequence in the prison, but, I mean, there were so many. I, the, the car chases, like, like I said. Like, even the opening sequence, right? Yeah, when they the do the heist and they yeah. go through the whole I mean, getting the, chased the by the police. The animation, the way they handled the animation was really good. I, we were talking about, you were, you were asking rigging about and rigging modeling. and modeling. And in the beginning, when the beginning is of 3D animation, it looked cool, but it was also very stiff. Mm -hmm. And it didn't; it was missing that aspect of 2D animation, the stretch and the and the contract that you see in characters when they walk or when they emote or or, or anything. And this had all of that. I mean, a lot of. I mean, that's kind of standard now for like studios to add in, like you know, Pixar's doing it, DreamWorks are doing it. Uh, Sony, but sometimes you still don't see it, and yeah. that, that's sort of like you look at that, like you see a, a trailer for a fil an animated film coming out, and you just don't see that thing, and it's not even registering in your brain, right? Right. And you're just like, that's cheap animation. Yes, yeah. that's, that's not really yeah. good. This is well, the, this, this is, is the quality stuff. Yes, this is not Disney. It is DreamWorks though, DreamWorks. and DreamWorks is up there. I mean, the, they're the ones that do the Minion movies, right? Yeah, yeah. They got no, no. Dream uh, Minions is Sky, I think. Illuminous. Oh, illumination. 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 Oh, okay, like sorry. Okay, fair enough. Well, DreamWorks has. DreamWorks money. has. Yeah, yeah, they've done a lot of good animation. Like yeah. Shrek. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I mean, for its day, it was for good. Its, for its day, it was good, but God, the humor is so dated. Dated Shrek now, movies. and it's yeah. like I know. I watch it it's now, like, and hey, I'm like, look, a Simon Cowell joke. <laughs> I know this generation has Everybody no idea loves what Simon Shrek. Cowell. I don't know about that. It Everybody's didn't... literally obsessed with it. That's cool. No, that guy, no. that guy. It didn't like age well. Or whatever, the one with like the weird hair is so ugly. The weird hair. Yeah, that, the, in the first the, one. The, the, the tiny man. Yeah. Oh, Lord John Fork, Lithgow. Lord Forquar. Yeah, yeah. Just, something oh, like that. I, I love John Lithgow. John Lithgow. He's so yeah. ugly. I hate that character design. Well, most of the characters in Shrek are ugly. Yeah, like, yeah. Let's be honest. The the character and the animation didn't ugly. hold up. I mean, like now you see stuff and it's like the anime. I mean, for the its time, it was good. But it now was good. They've, now they've added more of that polish. Where, like I said, you get more of that like that two D animation stretch and pull and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was like very. They were like trying to make it as realistic as possible, and mm -hmm. that looks great in real life. But when you're dealing with cartoon characters you kind of want that stretch and pull because it adds this weirdness to it. And that's why if that, I mean, honestly, that's why I like anime films. I, I like the 2d hand drawn animation style yeah. more than you say, like, like with that last studio Ghibli thing where it was 3d mm -hmm. because you don't get well, that last one. Uh, it was called Earwig like Earwig something. or something yeah, like yeah. that. But what? you don't you don't get that you don't get that we'll talk about it after. you don't get that animation in the face you don't get the the weird stuff that comes where it's basically just like not real emotion you're, you're basically showing the emotion on a in a physical person's body that mm -hmm. just wouldn't be possible yeah and that's like one of the joys of watching animation is seeing that right seeing right. how you convey that and I love that 3D is now absorbing that into the toolbox. Two, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, Gigi? What'd you think? 
I love this movie. It's good. It's really good. I was dying to see this movie for like the Well, you time. picked it, so excellent choice, by the way. Mm-hmm. Did you have a favorite character? Wolf. Wolf. Like the voice acting, character design. Yeah. yeah. Like and that. he had a nice character arc, too. Yes. Because he went from being the bad guy to being the good guy. Good he was guy. the first one to, like... To embrace so, that. Yeah. yeah. Soften yeah. up. Mm-hmm. And I like the little tail wagging. The tail that wagging. Was, that yeah. was cute. That was cute. <laughs> Did you have a favorite scene in the film? I like Diane fighting in the prison, but my favorite was when they were dancing and like time kind of slows. Yeah. And he's yeah. saying how it feels yeah. good to be good. Yes. Yes. That was good. And it's funny because knowing Sam Rockwell and you've seen him in interviews, he busts the move. He's like oh, yeah. famous yeah. for like just going out there and just shaking a tail feather so i've seen yeah i think i've seen that yeah i mean it's all over youtube if you ever want to watch it but he's like he's such a great actor i mean whether he's doing dramatic stuff or funny things or now animated stuff I, i feel like he's done voice work in something else i can't remember what but i like seeing and hearing him in stuff he is he is he's got a good voice he's got a great voice voice for that character yeah yeah Excellent work, excellent work. I, too, super impressed. I, we would wanted to watch this for a while. We finally broke down and rented it. So, yeah, no complaints. I usually will say, God, I hate that I paid for something, but not in this case. This was what? worth, this was probably worth more you than the You hated fee. paying for Cruella. I did oh, hated yes. paying for, for Cruella. That made me angry. Angry. We could have waited like another, but yeah. eh, whatever. Yeah. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. It's all right. It's on. It's water under the bridge. Can't change it. Can't change it. But uh, I agree with you. I think the animation style was really, really well done. It's it's nice to see stuff that's different than the norm. I think as far as entertainment goes and, and animation, you're you're probably thinking about Pixar and Disney. So it's nice to see something that deviates from that kind of template that they have going yeah so this doesn't look like a pixar movie and it doesn't feel like a disney movie so you know it it doesn't but i noticed that like even even pixar is moving away from like like they they had like a classic model design for people and then with like luca Luca. and turning red they started moving over to more where it's sort of like they're borrowing a little bit from aardman animation yeah and this had that too. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like the police chief looked very like the police chief could have been in Luca. Like, yes. The, like her, that that face of hers. Yes. You know, with yeah. The, and the teeth. Yeah. yeah. I could see that. Yeah. yeah. She had a cool character design. She did. Everybody, everybody, everybody did. Yeah. She, yeah. For some reason, she reminded me a little of of uh, what's the 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 bully with the horns and and uh, and Gumball. Tina? Tina. No, no, no. No, no, Tina, no. Tina Jamie, Jamie. 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 She Tina's reminded me a little bit of Jamie. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Just that she was just like this powerful uh, female figure. You know? I would never Well, she was funny because she's like, should I make a speech? And then she's like, I wanted to, to play the piccolo, but I yeah. couldn't because of yeah. my powerful <laughs> fingers or something. I found out about law enforcement. Yeah. Yes. I, I found out about law enforcement. That was Lois. Yes. I Voiced by the lovely Alex Bornstein. You yeah. guys you guys figured out I couldn't. Well, I saw it on IMDb. I probably wouldn't have pegged that either from just listening to her uh, it, initially i was like really and yeah. then as she spoke more you could, you could sort hear of, the you, intonation you, you hear guys, the little twang you guys in her voice. Could, i couldn't at all oh. i the only lo- lowest line i can remember is when she says peter's name yes yeah Peter. exactly yeah well she's she's doing that, <laughs> that terrible like Rhode Island sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the only thing I'm I mean. I mean, the only person, like, I didn't even know Mark Marin was Mark Marin. I, at first, I was like, is that Danny was, DeVito? Yeah, was Danny, yeah. I was like, who is this? That didn't sound like Danny DeVito. <laughs> I think it was you're just because, I think it was just because of the gruffness. Yes, you know? yes. And then you're like, you realize, no, no. Who's, and I didn't that? catch Craig Robinson at all. Initially, I didn't, but then after he spoke more, I was like, yeah, okay, that's okay. Common, so. The only person who's obvious, I feel like, is Aquafina. Oh, Aquafina, yeah. you can, She has a you very can, distinct voice. She's, yeah. she's just yeah. using her voice. Yeah, well, yeah she, she's, she's, not, she's not changing. And also yeah. Sam Rockwell. He, Sa- uh, yes. Yeah. He wasn't yeah. trying to disguise his, his voice. His voice either, yeah. I, I mean, I'm not familiar enough with Ramos's voice to, yeah, I think Ramos to, to right. be like, oh, yeah, that's, no. that's Anthony Ramos. No. Yeah. 
I don't think he does a lot of uh, no. I think this is the work. first time I've ever heard him do yeah. voiceover, but it it it, it worked well. It worked, and and, yeah. and he's perfect for the guy who sings. You know? Yes, I mean, yes, that absolutely. Yeah, yeah, that was a fun scene too. Yeah, well, that was part of the whole dancing stuff. So yeah, I yeah, like from that. start to finish, really, really well done. Great animation, great character work, fantastic story arcs, really solid script. This isn't a long. I mean. It's kind of long. I mean, it's an hour and 40 minutes. I mean, that's kind of a it long time flew. for, yeah, it for little kids. Yeah, but this story really, at all. not at all, not one dull and, moment. All the characters are used nicely. And and a shout out to Peter Ayoade for. Yes. Uh, for uh, Richard. Yeah. Well, you said Richard. Yeah. Richard was, Ayoade or Peter? I thought it was Peter Ayoade. No, it's Richard. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Richard Ayoade. Yes. For uh, marmalade. Otherwise known as onion. Otherwise onion. known as onion. onion. I know. Every time I like, I mean, he doesn't change his voice he either. Change, no, he doesn't so have distinct. to. His voice is like. Uh, it's perfect. You want yeah. you want a voice like that? You go for for Richard Ayoade. Yeah, love him. And uh, shout out to Zazie Betts. Um, Zazie Beats. The, Beats. She was Domino in, in Deadpool. Oh, is that who that is? Yeah. Or Deadpool Two. Sorry. Oh my god, I didn't know that was her. Domino. The lucky one? The lucky one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's how I remember it. Oh, I'm I'm looking at her IMDB picture. I'm like, I don't know who that is. I I, you know what? I was gonna say there's another British person stealing American jobs, right? (laughs) Oh my god. No, she's great too. I mean She's fantastic. Everybody was great. Yeah. Everyone has a good voice in this movie. Yes, yes. Really, really shout out to the casting people. They did a great job filling in all these these roles. Really good script. Really good script. This actually makes me want to find these books and, and check them out. I don't know. Maybe they're... I, I'm wondering if they're kids' books, so... No, those are kids' books, yeah. That's I've fine. I like, I like kids' books. <laughs> I'm going to start reading Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. <laughs> My Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Your Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You still haven't got me the glass elevator. I'm putting together the order. <laughs> It'll come in the next Jeez. shipment. There you go. Okay, relax. Hold your horses. Yeah, I got some stuff. I'm going to go around the table and get numbers. I'd One to give, ten. I'd give this an eight. I enjoyed this a lot. Any other words before we wrap it up? Not really. I mean, like I said, this is just a great... It's a it's a great kids movie. There's nothing absolutely nothing objectionable. No uh, sort of humor that you, you think. Oh my god! I can't believe they got they got away with that. No, this this was good. A nice straight story about the feeling good about doing good, redeeming character arcs, all of that. Uh, the humor wasn't torture for a, a, an, an adult, adult viewer. I enjoyed it. I was thoroughly enthralled in the story. And it, it didn't dumb quickly. down the lessons for the children didn't, either. It didn't dumb down the yeah. lessons. It it really, really worked. And you get that sort of like, uh, that heist sort of stuff where it's like, and they yeah, show yeah. like the, the, the flashback of the plan. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the music that accompanies yeah. all that. Really good soundtrack too here, I think. Gee, one to 10, what, what would you give this? Um, I give this like, Eight and a half or nine. No, I'm giving it nine. Nine. Very this is my good. My favorite movie of 2022. Very wow. nice. Right. Huge endorsement from Gigi. Yeah. Yeah, what about nice. you, Olive G? One to uh, ten. Um, I give it a nine. A nine as well. Wow. I was originally going to give this an eight, but I think I'm going to get it an eight and a half. I mean, from where it starts to where it ends, really lovely storytelling, really great animation. Everything came together nicely. Shout out to the production babies at the end. If you (laughs) haven't seen it, go run now. Go check out The Bad Guys. You will not be disappointed from 2022 rated PG with a runtime of one hour and 40 minutes. You can go to the theaters if you are brave enough. You can... Check it out on Peacock if you have a subscription or rent it on Prime. And that's it from us, and we will bid you all. Good night. Good night. A good night.